Changes in politics are constant, and here in North Dakota, we are seeing a few of our own. KX News' Adrian Oglesby has the report as we lead local. Although politics are on a whirlwind nationwide, our very own capital city has been talked about a lot lately, too. With Governor Burgum announcing that he's not seeking a third term, the political landscape has changed immensely. My, my political prognostication would be that uh, you'll have Kelly Armstrong running for governor. I'm guessing the current lieutenant governor, Tammy Miller, I'm guessing that she will probably announce um, former Senator Tom Campbell, I think he's been making noise about that. I would guess that he'll probably enter the race. Um, you know, Julie Fedorchek, a current uh, PSC commissioner, there's been some chatter that she's at least evaluating that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the House side, the U.S. House side, um, you have a former uh, House member, Rick Becker, that uh, he's announced for, for uh, the congressional seat. And um, I'm thinking that um, Former Lieutenant Governor Brent Sanford certainly has to be thinking about uh, one of those races so he uh, he could enter and and then you never know there's uh, there's probably a dark horse a dark horse out there that uh, is evaluating the landscape. Harm shares his ideal preference characteristics for the next governor. Somebody that has um, a good uh, private sector experience um, and is a fiscal conservative. I think we spend. Um, and I would, pre this is my personal view, I would prefer that they're uh, a social moderate. I think we spent a lot of time on social issues in, uh, in the last couple of legislative sessions that uh, don't really serve the greater public. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, we've got lots of issues about workforce and K-12 education results, and how much money we spend and property taxes and what are we gonna do with the legacy fund and reliance on one industry that pays 50% of our taxes, you know, Somebody that um, needs to uh, be able to address those issues and not get hung up on uh, some of these social issues. And for whoever takes over the seat of Representative Kelly Armstrong. I think uh, probably two biggest concerns I have from our national government is uh, the, the budget, uh, the, uh, the, the national debt. You know, to be $34 trillion in debt is just a phenomenal number and it it threatens our ability to address any of our other concerns, whether it's military, um, social welfare programs, protecting our borders. If we don't have the financial depth to um, take care of our day-to-day -day needs, eventually our national debt is going to consume the entire federal budget if we don't address it. So we need to make some hard decisions about the entitlement programs, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, um, what do we do for uh, international uh, spending? All of those things need to be addressed, and whoever can speak to that will get Harms' vote. As of now, Democrat Katrina Christensen stands alone for the U.S. Senate seat this year, as Senator Kevin Kramer has yet to formally announce, though he is rumored to be running again. And for the House of Representatives, Democrat Trig V. Hammer is up against Rick Becker. The only person that's announced they are running for governor so far is Kelly Armstrong. We will continue to bring you updates as they come along. For your election headquarters, I'm Adrian Oglesby. So far, North Dakota's Lieutenant Governor Tammy Miller has not announced if she plans to run for governor.